Okay, everybody, Mr. Taylor back. I want to talk to you about dimension analysis. Um, as, we, as we already mentioned, it's just another way for us to, uh, as we work through two and three dimensionals, to um, cancel out the uh, unwanted or uh, the unit of measures or whatever that's not needed. So, just to get you started on what we would take a look at um, in the upcoming days if you are taking this live if not then uh, good deal so according to the diagram above and what we're doing is we're looking at this particular diagram uh, approximately how many centimeters are equivalent to one inch now this is not etched in stone here um, because if you notice, we're we're looking at from here to here is one inch, and we really don't have uh, a good concrete measure of what is between here and here. We definitely know that we say that this part is one centimeter um, according to the measure that says this part is one centimeter, and the way this particular graph look is this is actually between uh, one centimeter so we can say that this is one two and this is literally between uh, two and three centimeters so um, if we wanted to approximate I'm, I'm just gonna say um, between two and three centimeters that's that's what I would say and if I want to just give a hard pretty hard guess mm, I would probably say 2.5 okay so so let's do some problem two says record the following information and again, we are looking at what we see here. So one inch is approximately equivalent to, let's say, 2.54 centimeters. And since we have that, let's go ahead and write two ratios uh, that represent. Now remember, a ratio is just simply a fraction. So uh, writing these two ratios. Uh, means uh, let's just use a fraction and let's make sure we we use it as a unit okay so unit mean you have a denominator a numerator of one so let's say the first one let's put one over two point five four and again we're going back here to get our particular answer but if we're looking at one inch so make sure we put our units here so one inch and here is centimeters and we'll abbreviate that okay we also the second ratio again using one in either denominator or the numerator we can say one inch and our numerator could be 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so just somewhat get you get you an idea of uh, what we're doing and why we're doing it um, to make sure that we know. And what this is just really telling me, if I am going to uh, literally translate from inches to centimeters depending on which way or from centimeters to inches depending on which way we would use one of the above ratios in this particular situation we said that the one that we are going to uh, convert or translate to let's use the word convert convert to we always put on the top so as we go forward in this little uh, segment just make sure that we keep in mind but it's it's not a, it's not a it's challenging 
Uh, I'm not here to convince you from what you've been taught se six and seventh grade, but I'm here to show you maybe a, 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 a quicker way where we can make sure we cancel out those unneeded units. All right, Mr. Taylor, Rock and Math, and I'll see you soon.